and we are back welcome back this is salt city counseling i'm scott carter and i am a licensed therapist and it's been a while since i've made a video for those of you that have subscribed to my channel and kind of hung in there with me thank you um it's been i think approximately nine or so months since i've uh, made a video so uh it's been a while uh somebody that i uh, interact with on a uh, fairly regular basis mentioned to me that they uh, found my YouTube channel and liked my content. They thought it was helpful on a, for mental health reasons. And I was like, oh, thanks. Maybe I should pick that back up. And so that's kind of what I've decided to do. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, quick, a uh, few updates for me. I want to talk today a little bit about like, I'm going to touch on why I feel like people aren't really improving with their mental health or the mental illnesses aren't improving. Uh, I think there are a few reasons behind that. But this one is this particular one has sort of been on my mind uh, in the last few days, and I thought it would. I think it's worth sharing. I, I think there's some good insights here. Uh, for those of you, some of my faithful subscribers, thank you. Thanks for sticking there with me. Um, honestly, what, there are a couple of main reasons why I haven't uh, put up any content uh, in the last nine months. Um, one of them is that I I, I kind of built this channel on the basis of like high conflict divorce and custody and, and like borderline personality disorder. And frankly, that's just not, that just hasn't been a direction that I've wanted to continue to go. It's just not a path that I've wanted to continue to walk. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't really get me out of bed in the morning. I realize that a lot of that content is, is helpful to a lot of people. Um, so mostly going forward, uh, a lot of my content is going to be geared towards just wellness, mental wellness, physical wellness. Uh, I'm kind of in the midst of figuring a lot of that out myself. I've been... Um, doing a lot of my own work as well. I've been getting a lot of new insights. I'm always doing my own work. I'm, I'm always doing work. Uh, <clears throat> I've, I've gained a, a lot of new insights on mental health and depression and shadow work too. So just to give you a, a quick update of where I'm at too and what I've been working on, I, I really notice uh, that it's, it's just, you know, we, we're, we're in the middle of, of, mental health pandemics. We really are. I mean, depression, for example, is so, so uh, pervasive and common. And uh, a lot of people are experiencing some uh, treatment resistant, uh, treatment resistant depression. And so I feel like I've kind of built some insights on that. And I can offer some insights on what's going on with depression, because I feel like the mental health industry, for the most part, is failing people, is uh, giving people some pretty un uh, underwhelming results. I find that most people who are getting uh, help with depression uh, under the standard model, under like standard what's considered normal care, are, are really not getting any help. It's not helping. It's not effective. So I'm going to do a series on, on depression coming up soon. I, I think it'll be really good. Uh, I realize that depression can seem like a really mundane topic, but I feel like I've built some really good positive insights on it, and, and I think it's really interesting stuff. And So hopefully you will hang in there with me. I've also been thinking about... I have this tendency to like start new projects and not stick with them. And really, I feel like it's just because it's like I get so interested in something and then I'm moving on to the next thing. And because uh, I'm, I'm always wanting to learn and grow and, and continue to build and build and build. Uh, but I'm really strongly considering doing a, a channel uh, specifically for men, men's work, uh, integrating the shadow, those types of things. Uh, I feel like it's really, really badly needed. Very, very badly needed. So uh, that... I believe that will be um, making an appearance, hopefully, in the next week or two. So maybe check it out. If you are still wanting to take my courses on high conflict, divorce, and custody, the website, my own website that I was using to host those courses is going away. If it hasn't already, I haven't checked it. But um, I'm probably going to put them back on a platform like Teachable. So stay tuned. If you're wanting, if you're wanting those courses for high conflict, divorce, and custody, they'll still be available somewhere online um so all of that being said now that you have a little bit of uh, an update with me well a couple <laughs> i have been very focused on my own wellness truth be told uh, th uh the therapy thing being a therapist it is a high 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 burnout job and it has it really really took a toll on my health over the years and i've spent the better part of a decade trying to improve my health in a number of ways and I got close. I was really, really feeling better. Had a major setback um, a couple months ago. 
and um, well, I'm close. I'm back to being healthy. But going forward, I really want to dedicate this channel to wellness, especially as I like kind of take my own wellness journey. So anyways, hope you like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I continue to be self-employed. I work, still work in private practice. Um, frankly, I don't have the, the physical stamina to work a full-time job. I just don't. Um, it just uh, completely wipes me out. I don't know if I'll, I'll ever be able to work full-time for anybody ever again, just based on how my health has gone. Um, so all of that being said, let's talk. I wanted to talk for a minute about why I don't think people are, are kind of getting what they need from the mental health industry. And this is what's been on my mind. Um, generally speaking, and I know the mental health industry very, very well. Uh, I've worked as a practitioner. I've served on committees. I've sat on boards. Uh, I've, I've gone to trainings. I've given trainings. Um, I know mental health very, very well. It's, my, it's kind of my craft. It's, it's my art. It's, my, it's what I know. Um, and I believe that most people... Uh, are taking the wrong approach to mental health, including including practitioners, including therapists and psychologists and other practitioners, especially the medical the medical field, the medical industry, are taking a, a, an angle on mental health that it's like an illness, like you have a have a cold or a flu, and like it's it needs to heal, like it needs to get better. I don't think that works. I don't think uh, so. I don't treat mental health that way. I don't approach. Excuse me. I don't want to approach mental health from this angle of that you have this illness. I know we call it mental illness. I don't even think that's a very accurate term. Um, so I think mental health is a lot, uh, a lot more related to physical fitness. So I would prefer to use the term mental fitness because if your physical fitness is in a is in a bad state, it, it's usually because of bad habits or it's a state of deterioration, right? If you eat poorly and you uh, never go exercise and you you're just a couch potato, um, <clears throat> you never get any you never get any physical movement, and you eat poorly, whatever, or you sleep poorly, maybe or, or whatever, you're gonna have for poor physical fitness, and it's really a matter of making changes, right? Your your physical fitness is often a reflection of your habits, of your choices, right? And to me, mental health is very, very similar. It is. It takes on a very, very similar uh, model. So I find that when I treat it like it's physical fitness, and so like we need to change our habits, we need to do something different, we need to be uh, more aware of you know what goes on up here. And, what, and how we respond to something like depression, what decisions we make, what values we have, what's important to us, uh, how we learn to talk to ourselves, um, our core beliefs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? All of these things are going to contribute to your mental fitness, okay? So <clears throat> I find that mental health can be often improved just like your physical fitness can be improved. Um, you can get in really, really super good shape. You can get in really good health. You can get physically fit and I believe that you can get become mentally fit but again I feel like it has a lot to do with your habits and it has a lot to do with your choices so if uh, I see this with a lot of people where they treat mental health like it's an illness and if you ignore it it'll eventually go away right if, let's say that somebody you lost somebody important in your life and you're grieving for them and uh, maybe that maybe through death or maybe like a breakup or a divorce or something like that right could be one of those and you lose somebody and so you're grieving their loss. And most people just tend to think like, oh, give it time, it'll go away. No, and, and that doesn't work, right? That would be like saying, like, with your physical fitness, like, if you were overweight, well, just give it time, it'll just go away on its own. Uh, like a cold does or like the flu does, right? Or like um, just, I don't know, like a sinus infection or something. If you treat mental health that way, it won't go away. It will continue to haunt you. So I hear people say all the time, right? Uh, I should be over it by now. I should feel better by now. And I'm like, mm, no, you shouldn't because you haven't put any work on, into it, right? Uh, same thing with physical fitness. If somebody was overweight, like, well, I should be thin by now. But you haven't put any work into it. Why Why would you expect to be and, and physically fit if you haven't put any work into it? Mental health is exactly the same way. So if you struggled with mental illness, you've struggled with mental health, and you've struggled to get... Uh, appropriate or proper effective help or care for the mental health industry. Try and look at it as it in, in at it in a fitness 
uh, apply the fitness model versus like an illness model and you might actually get some traction right and start to think like okay well certain habits are going to contribute to your fitness and certain habits are going to contribute to a deterioration right and try to think of it that way and you can take what you've been doing how you've approached mental health what you've done to try and improve your mental fitness has it worked has it helped if the answer is no then then you got to try something different the answers are out there but anyways uh i'm gonna wrap this video up uh and stay tuned in the near future i'm hoping in the next day or two sort of depending on how i feel frankly um how how my health is uh and how things go i'm making my health a priority this morning i did yoga <laughs> um i went on a bike ride uh i've been um i do intermittent fasting um working on eating right um tumor breathing right i'm making my health a priority i'm making my my, my wellness a priority so that i believe that when i'm well i can do far more to help other people uh so anyways stay tuned hopefully gonna get to that uh, series on on depression the next day or two i'm hoping um and get uh my uh men's channel i call it 10,000 ronin get 10,000 ronin off the ground here in the next few days as well so stay tuned thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one